what is going on welcome to the channel all right we are here in maryland cabin john we are actually looking to cross this one lane bridge it's called the clara barton access road and it's a one lane bridge and we're gonna have fsd try to cross it with hopefully no accelerator presses and hopefully no takeovers but let's let's start with this stop sign here nice job with the full stop going to zero here we go with the left turn and uh, as soon as we make this right turn at this stop sign here it should lead us right into the one lane bridge so hang tight let's see how we do at this stop sign nice job clearing space here let's see if we can figure out our right of way and we do it is our turn go ahead and go oh but it looks like there's a long line to get on this bridge but we got a green light so let's see if we can make it because the way it works is only so many cars can go on the bridge at once because it's one lane so only you know each side of traffic only gets like uh i don't know 30 cars at a time and then this side goes 30 cars at a time and then this side goes 30 cars at a time then this side goes so it's probably not the preferred method you want to take if you're in a rush but my goal here is to test out fsd and uh, to show you what it you know how it works on this uh kind of like a real world situation where it's got to adapt and figure out it's got to use its eyes here see that the road is ending on one side and you know opening on the other so we did get hit with the red light so we get a chance to see exactly how it works so now that um, it gives it you know a few seconds for the bridge to clear so that way one way of traffic can make it to the other side and then yeah like I said about 30 cars go one way and then they wait for it to clear and then 30 cars go this way so yeah here we are we're at the light so hang tight this is 12.3.4 so i'm looking to test this out and uh yeah really see the improvements other versions were able to grasp this but i did have to kind of accelerate through it it would really hesitate on the bridge and i am ready uh to do that just in case you know for any reason you can see there's like also bikers and pedestrians that use this bridge so it's really cool this is like a nature preserve if someone can drop in the comments below i'm not sure what year this was built but probably late 1800s is what i would guess um and they try to keep that stuff around since we're right outside of dc here right next to the american legion bridge so all right so notice we got about 30 cars on this side it's you know it's now uh clearing out so making way for our side of the road to finally go so here we go fsd test one lane bridge and we're off we're off to the races and it's so far it figured it out all right look at that look how it narrowed it down no accelerator presses whatsoever very nice job that's an improvement from the last version i did have to press the accelerator and nudge all the way through this bridge really nice job figuring out when the bridge ended and to merge over back onto this side just overall a phenomenal job um a plus at this test i have to say i'm really impressed so make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta tests I will be bringing you. Um, and uh, also, big news is the price of FSD has officially went down from $199 to $99. So that's something I just saw today, and uh, that's pretty amazing. So if you haven't had the chance to you know, try FSD out, Oh yeah, these lights used to throw it off in the past too. Well, I'm gonna actually keep this video running here for a second since we got a really interesting roundabout coming up here. So I'm gonna see how FSD handles itself here. Also, to try to add on to this video here a little bit. 
Uh, so far, no accelerator presses whatsoever. It is doing its thing with the indicator. It knows I do gotta go left here. And really nice job figuring that out. And then sweet job going straight. Handled this like a champ. Really narrow roads back here. So I, I like the way it adjusted and just really overall did a great job. Uh, very human-like. I mean, this is just perfect drive. I score this one an A+, plus, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, be sure to check out FSD if you haven't been able to experience this for yourself yet. Let's see how it does with these uh, bikers here, with uh, another biker also stopped here, very narrow lanes, see how it gives them way, and really just does a great job overall of recognizing its surroundings and, and, and just being aware of kind of what kind of roads it's on. And uh, really shout out to the Tesla Autopilot team for giving us frequent and quick updates. Um, it's pretty crazy how they uh, get things out. So don't, don't get complacent is like the number one thing because first of all, things change. And second of all, never forget, this is a computer driving for you. And uh, it's just, um, it's just the good old folks at Tesla writing some good clean code. And yeah, can't can't shout out to them enough because you know I see the improvements of FSD and it's just crazy in my head. You know, like the price has gone down and the abilities has gone up. So just take that for what it's worth. And yeah, if you don't have a Tesla um, and you know someone that has one, maybe ask them to subscribe. And that way you can test out FSD for a month at least and see what it's like on your daily commutes. If you got a road trip coming up this summer, be sure to test it out. I really want to hear from more people and their experiences on what FSD is like and how they use it. And uh, yeah, just I, I have a feeling a lot of people will be just um, you know genuinely surprised and um, happy you know on, on what it's capable of doing it's almost like predictive text you know it's like the moment that that got so good where it just now figures out what you're trying to say you don't really even have to type anymore it's kind of like that it's like why would you go back to typing and it's not like you're gonna forget how to type and if you do come across a different keyboard you know you're, you still know how to type but it's just that you know, if you know where you need to go and the car does and it's got it all mapped out with all the routes and the navigation data and it uses its, you know, safety to detect its surroundings, FSD is going to give you a sweet drive. So yeah, check out my referral link below if you don't have a Tesla. Three months FSD for free and there's a couple other perks with it as well. So yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. This was definitely a fun one to shoot. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.